Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Keep in mind, uh, a lot of things can still change, but I'd just be planning tomorrow morning and midday that it's going to be a little nasty around here and uh, it's certainly going to interrupt some things. Uh, it is an alert day tomorrow because of a winter storm warning that is now up for the uh, entire Susquehanna Valley. Hard to believe, too, when temperatures 50s to lower 60s. Yeah, it feels very nice out there. Mid 50s across the board to 58 in York and Lancaster, 60s in Gettysburg and Chambersburg. Just a nice looking day. In fact, just some high level clouds. We expect these clouds to continue to increase. You see on our Lancaster Skycam, 58. Winds have been a little breezy south at uh, 11 miles an hour right now. The uh, dew points at 36 degrees. We had to slight go for the forecast. Those clouds increase 50s and 40s. Not a bad evening if you're doing some running around. Cloudy uh, and looks like the rain will develop, changing to all snow maybe right around dawn. Temperatures in the 40s and 30s. So it's melting at first, but not for long. We're going to see those temperatures crash. Uh, widespread snow and it could be heavy at times. Cold, windy afternoon. Uh, it could be some blowing and drifting as we get into tomorrow evening. A couple of the ingredients. You see this line of snow. That's the leading edge of the colder air. We see all the moisture along the Gulf and there's a storm trying to come out of uh, the south and that's going to head eastbound. So there is the center of the storm. It's back over West Texas. That energy is going to pick up some of this moisture. At the same time, we have this cold front, and that's marching east. And it looks like that moisture is going to move right up that cold front. A lot of times when we go from rain to snow, we don't get much in the way of uh, accumulations. This is a little bit different. I've been saying that all week long. Now, temperatures uh, get 40s this evening, and then overnight tonight, here comes the rain. But at first, it's this rain, and even when it starts changing over early tomorrow, we're still above freezing. But look at those temperatures quickly fall, and we get some snow up to about midday. And now it looks like it may be ending as the winds start to pick up tomorrow afternoon. And tomorrow night, we're down into the teens Sunday. Just some clouds out there, but temperatures get back up into the 30s. So 2 to 4. Four to six across most of the viewing area. You get up into parts of Mifflin, Juniata counties, up in the near Sealands Grove, you're talking heavier amounts. This makes sense to me. Now, some of the computer models are trying to bring it even farther on to the south. We'll keep you updated on that. But again, that's where we think it's happening right now. Uh, and tomorrow afternoon, look at these wind gusts. Over 40 miles an hour. They start to die off a little bit as we head on into Sunday, though. So tomorrow morning and into the afternoon, that's when we get most of the nastier conditions. Still cold. We may make tomorrow evening an alert. I, I got a feeling the weather service is going to issue a wind advisory. Again, those temperatures are falling tomorrow. Near zero wind chills to start Sunday. Ah, pretty cold day. And then back into the 50s, maybe by Tuesday up near 60 degrees. Look at that. 70s to snow to 60s. You guys know I love my job. <laughs>